Hey, what's happening everybody? This is Royce and Pedal Mel. Welcome to my channel. Tonight's video is going to be checking out two more Greenlight Hollywood vehicles. We have the Fall Guy Stuntman Association 82 GMC K2500. And of course the legendary A-Team 1983 GMC Vendura. Both of these look awesome. And I've had both of these maybe a couple months now and I'm just... I. I really got behind here doing videos and it's a long story my life has just been all over the place ups and downs and all arounds and finding time to do some of these videos is very very difficult and that being said we will get right into cracking these open and checking them out so anyway we'll get started here i think it's definitely more fun to open these up these packs than to keep the stuff these cars sealed away i don't think in my opinion i don't think they'll ever really be worth anything i mean maybe down the road in 30 you know 40 years or something like that maybe they'll be worth something but uh i'll be probably long dead by the time that you know these are worth anything All right, up on the turntable here we have BA's 83, I think that's what it said it was, right? 83 GMC Vandura. Very cool. And we got the Hurricane wheels that are in red. Offset paint colors. It's kind of like a gunmetal silver on the top half and then gloss black on the bottom with a red stripe in between. A lot of debate over that color scheme. I know when I had done my custom, uh, I took a mainline years ago, Hot Wheels, and customized it. And everybody ripped me apart because the silver I chose, or the gunmetal I had custom mixed for the roof, the top half, everyone claimed that, that was way off, had nothing to do with the show, didn't look at any show. Well, I'm going to prove to you here then. We're going to bring that in. I'll put it next to this green light, and we'll see how close mine is to this green light in color wise and uh that video is one of the very first customized custom videos i'd done and put on youtube four years ago or five years ago whenever it was and it still gets a good bit of views but back to this green light this thing is just awesome for the money you got the license plate on the back like i said we got the we got the zoomy pipes we get a detail of that Full metal base, metal body, rubber tires. I think that my eyes aren't as good as they used to be, but I believe it's what BFG tires it looks like on there. Yeah, I had to look at her. BFG Goodrich tires on it. We got the huge sun visor thing on the roof. Great details on this, so for the money, I didn't pay that much for this either. It looks so much better out of the pack, that's for sure. Now, just for craps and giggles, can I, I'm going to bring in, if you guys don't mind, I'm going to bring in my Hot Wheels main line, if I can find it back here, that I had customized years and years ago. It seems like forever ago. Everybody tore me apart on the color choice that I did for the top section, and uh, I don't think it looks too far off from what Greenlight did. Here we get an idea of those scale-wise and proportions. I think the green light looks so much better. Um, I had used, if you're curious, red monoblock multi-spoke wheels there to try to mimic those hurricane wheels. Which, if you're curious, they're the same. I believe they're the same as what was used on the Dukes of Hazard car. Just kind of fun to put the one that I did up to it. Now, as you can see here as it's going around, another thing people ripped on me about was the way I did the red on the roof there, which not a huge, huge deal in my opinion, not a deal breaker, but you could kind of see I had it stop at the wing 
where green light and it's probably correct on the green light it's red the whole way to the back on the roof there i don't i don't know that's nitpicking in my opinion and if you look and watch the show and look at still pictures for reference online there's so many they use so many different vans and it's very very difficult to get the exact you know exactly the way and i found different versions i don't care how many people everyone wanted to argue with me about that if you look there's so many different shots of that red and that wing that it's very difficult to get it precise i like the way the wing is just red on mine as you can see here they have red running under it and in the front of it and i don't know i always thought that looked weird to me so yeah, I did take some liberties, I guess, on some of it, but that's, uh, you know, the fun thing about customizing your own stuff at home. You could do it the way you want to do it. Don't do it to please other people. Screw that. That's how I view it. I, I don't care because I don't enter any of my stuff in contests. I don't care, you know, but everyone wanted to drill me hard on that van and it was one of the very first ones that I'd shown to anybody. Uh, I've been doing custom since 1994, and the van was, I think, I believe the van is the very first one I had ever done that sh you know, showed to anybody, um, you know, put it out there, so to speak. But there, these kind of, I feel a little bit better putting it up against the green light, which I'm pretty sure green light did their homework on this. And I think the two of them in my case are going to look awesome together. So you guys have to let me know down below what you think of the green light. Obviously, the scale, it's a little bit larger than the Hot Wheels. I don't have the Hot Wheels premium version, but I suspect it's not that great anyway. But there you go. Two of them, pretty awesome. It's fun having them together. I'm so glad I finally got around to taking the green light out of the pack. And... We will move on to the Fall Guide GMC K2500. Let me get these suckers out of the way here. You guys have to let me down down below what you think. I think my gunmetal silver color at the top custom mix is not that far off from green lights. So I feel a little bit better and a little more justified now, if that makes any sense. I'm, I'm, you guys at home are going to know what I'm talking about when you customize stuff. It, it, it hurts your feelings sometimes, you know, when people rip your stuff apart which i don't criticize anybody's work on instagram or anything like that because everybody does stuff differently we all learn differently and at different paces and everybody has their own versions you know and that's the whole thing you want to you do something for yourself do not do it to please other people it is for yourself this is art therapy screw what everyone else thinks and I'll leave it at that. So let's move on to the Fall Guy truck and get this guy out of the way. That was pretty fun, though. All right, so we move on here. Moving on to the Fall Guy. I got to open this up, though. All right, so we got the Fall Guy out of the pack and up on the turntable. Very, very cool. Very detailed for the money. My only issue with this, which you guys are probably going to spot it right away, just like I did when it came in the mail. I was kind of disappointed. Almost tempted the mail back to the seller. Uh, you can probably see it right. It's coming up. The whole bed is tilted downwards. You can kind of see the by the gap there. It almost looks like the real stun vehicle took a jump. Um, not the mid-engine one that they use, but a regular one. Someone jumped it and it just bent in the middle. It's pretty crazy, but you can... You can see it if you can see how it's bent down the, the bed. Maybe it's not so obvious to you guys at home, but it's pretty, it's pretty it's pretty obvious it's cantered. This is not level at all the bed in the cab. But this thing is awesome. I'm tempted to buy another and just use the wheels and tires and stuff, strip this one down or something to because I don't think there's gonna be any way to fix that. Um maybe there's a way to fix it, but kind of ruined it for me a little bit i saw it right away when i opened the box up you know and i was just kind of bummed out by that i think does this have does the hood open on this thing it doesn't say opening parts 
doesn't say that it has a it doesn't say anywhere that it has the hood opens but it almost looks like it would you guys are gonna rip on me for wearing gloves I don't know if I mentioned before but I have gloves on because I I'm a maintenance mechanic and my hands are all screwed up here lately. I haven't really butchered up so they, they're not very attractive that's why I have the gloves on normally I do put gloves on the handle my expensive 19th cars etc but look at this thing though this is really cool we got full metal base metal body lots of details to look at on this thing got the winch on the front and the brush guard California license plates this the detail in the back here is incredible though on the around the tailgate for $6.95 or whatever this thing cost I think I pay a little more than that I just I'm upset the way the whole thing's cantered down that bed I don't know if that's I don't think it's supposed to be that way obviously but yeah it's tilting it's sitting weird too like kind of bums me out I have to admit I've never seen one episode of this show that I can remember and it was really fairly popular it had Lee Majors who was married to Farrah Fawcett both of them were a power couple when I was a kid uh, some of you guys out there watching this probably have like no idea who Lee Majors was he was on uh, Big Valley and then um, Six Million Dollar Man, and then he had Fall Guy, which was also three hits basically in a row. And anyway, this this show, I think it was Heather Locklear on the show too. I forget the girl's name, but it, it was a big deal. And I don't even think any of my friends watched it. I know my one cousin, he still raves about Fall Guy. And I've watched a few clips on YouTube, but I've honestly... I don't think I've ever seen one episode. I do know that they had the ones that they jumped had the engine was in the rear. I think it was mid-engine. It was like sitting back here. And I remember hearing that years ago. And then I watched some stuff on YouTube about it. Pretty cool. Because otherwise, they suppose we would never. I think these are too front heavy. You'd never be able to jump them and get them to do what they had them do on the show. Very cool though. You guys have to let me know down below what do you think of this i think it's very cool it just kind of saddens me the way that the bed is tilted backwards on it that kind of bummed me out a little bit but i'll get over it <laughs> i have many other vehicles i can move on to and i'll forget about this in about two seconds but is awesome though the paint is awesome on it the decal is awesome on the hood or tampa process i'm not sure how they did that the uh the fall guy logo you can see it here in the back card that with the eagle the stuntman association on the hood the gold the lights everything about this green light is just they knock them out of the park every time i'm a huge huge green light fan and more so in m2 because too many m2 cars i've gotten and the, the lights have fallen out their pieces and parts laying in the package i've i personally have not had that many issues with green light until now with the tilted bed here but this thing is just freaking awesome perfect though i love the height too i'd love to have my truck i wish my truck was sitting that high it's just like the perfect size tires and everything on it's just great so there you go thanks for watching if you like this type of video be sure to share like subscribe all that good stuff if you're not a subscriber please consider it. it's free you can't be free and hit the bell for notifications and until next time i will see you guys later i don't know why i just did that for so long that was really drawn out all right but thanks for watching and i will see you guys soon also check me out on instagram my my link is down below if you don't follow me on there please consider following me on Instagram. I do have some of my personal life stuff on there as well, but most of it's toy related and cool stuff related, if that makes any sense. All right. Talk to you guys soon. All right. Have a good night. Bye now.